Hello everyone, here I am with a beautiful equation from Romania. We have 2 to the power x minus 1 plus 2 to the power 1 over square root of x equals 3 and we're going to be solving for x values. I'm also going to show you the result from Wolfram Alpha as well as a graph from Desmos at the end. This video is not sponsored by them but I, ju but I just wanted to mention the resources. So, if you take a look at this equation you probably noticed that x equals 1 works. Why? Because 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 1 is equal to 3, isn't it? 1 plus 2 equals 3. But is that the only solution? Or if that is the solution, how can we find it uh, by using something special? And that would be AMGM inequality. Okay? So we're going to be using AMGM inequality. And here's how it works with three numbers. If you have ABC that are all greater than or equal to zero, then we can safely say that their arithmetic mean, which is AM, so you basically add them up and divide by three, is always greater than or equal to their geometric mean, which is the cube root of their product. Okay? So, how do we apply it to our situation, right? We kind of have like a weird situation here because we have 2 to the power x minus 1 which brings a fraction into the equation. So we don't want that so to avoid it we're going to go ahead and do the following. Multiply both sides by 2. So we get rid of the negative exponent and now this gives us 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power 1 over square root of x times 2 right equals 6. Great. Now, let's go ahead and apply it. Well, why did I say three numbers? There are only two numbers, right? Well, actually, no. We're going to split it up. So here's how we're going to handle it. 6 is equal to this expression, but I'm going to write it as since we have 2 times something, we can write this as 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power 1 over square root of x plus the same thing. Make sense? Instead of writing 2a, I just wrote a plus a. So now we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3 because now notice that we have three numbers, right? Now we can go ahead and divide both sides by 3. That gives us the following. And the reason behind dividing by 3 is because we want to look at the arithmetic mean and compare it to the geometric mean, AM, GM. So obviously this is going to be greater than or equal to the cube root of 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 1 over square root of x times 2 to the power 1 over square root of x. That's a cube root because there are three numbers. Make sense? Now, when is the equality obtained? The equality is obtained actually when each of these terms are the same. So if you go ahead and take like a, a, a and average them arithmetically, you get a. If you go ahead and do it geometrically, you get a again. So they're going to be equal in that case. Make sense? Okay. So from here, what am I getting? Well, first of all, I do have a 2 all the way on the left and some radical expression all the way on the right. Let's go ahead and combine these by adding the exponents and then set, it, uh, set the inequality. So we get the cube root of 2 to the power x plus 1 over square root of x plus 1 over square root of x, which is going to give us... 2 over square root of x and that is going to be less than or equal to 2. Remember we have to switch the inequality because we're writing the right hand side on the left hand side and the left hand side on the right hand side. Okay? I hope that makes sense. So this is one inequality that we got. Let's go ahead and save it for future use. Obviously we're gonna need this later. Now let's go ahead and take a look at AMGM from another perspective. Because we did get x plus 2 over square root of x as an exponent, it would make sense if you go ahead and take a look at this expression. So let's go ahead and break it down again because I want to get three numbers. And of course, there is a good reason behind it. If you use two numbers, uh, things are not going to cancel out. We have to get rid of x and end up with a constant. That's why we are splitting it up. And now if you apply AMGM to these uh, three numbers here, then you get their arithmetic mean, which is their sum divided by 3, is going to be greater than or equal to their geometric mean, which is the cube root of the product, and the product is 
what is really nice. Because square root of x times square root of x is, you got to remember, by the way, x is, well, does x have to be positive? Yes, in order for square root of x to be defined. So here things cancel out, and we end up with a 1 inside the radical, which is nice. And then we can go ahead and cross multiply, and that gives us, after adding these again, so we kind of have to combine and uncombine, uh, depending on what we need, is going to be greater than or equal to 3 times 1, which is, because this is 1, 3. Make sense? Yes, but if you look at the inequality that we had before, it's not the same thing, it's just in the exponent. No worries, we're going to take it up. So, let's go ahead and do 2 to the power both sides, and sometimes, you know, people do it this way. Uh, even though I don't like it because they're not at the same level. I know some, some mathematicians, you know some YouTubers do that. But anyways, that's a different story. I'm just going to do it like this. 2 to the power x plus 2 over square root of x is greater or equal to 2 to the power 3. Get the idea? We did 2 to the power both sides. Now, 2 to the power 3 is 8, but don't do it because we're going to cube root both sides. you got to remember, cube rooting doesn't change the sign. If it's a negative, it's a negative. If it's a positive, we can do it. Square rooting is a little tricky. But now we get something super duper nice because our expression is going to be now greater than or equal to 2. Wait a minute. Didn't we just get the opposite a while ago? Yes, exactly. So let's go ahead and bring this inequality down. So now I have this and I have this. The cube root of 2 to the power x plus 2 over square root of x is less than or equal to 2. What does this mean? Isn't that contradictory? Or aren't they contradictory? No, this is not a contradiction. This just means that the radical expression is equal to 2, right? That's the only way they're going to intersect. So our expression needs to equal 2, which means we obtain this equation or equality when the terms are equal to each other. So from here, basically, we were supposed to set, uh, get it equal to 2, right? Or this was supposed to be like that. This is the real deal. So that means all of these terms are equal. But there are three terms. So where are my three terms? There you go. So they all have to be equal. This means x equals 1 over square root of x, which equals 1 over square root of x. Of course, right? they're equal. We know that. And this implies what? x equals 1. Right? That's the only solution. How do you solve this equation? Easy. Cross multiply x root x equals 1. And then you can just guess and check. But if you want to square both sides, you get x squared times x is equal to 1, which means x cubed equals to 1. And from here, you get x equals 1. Now, can there be some complex solutions? We're dealing with real numbers here. We're using AMGM, so on and so forth. But if you wanted to go for complex solutions, you would probably look at cube roots of 1 that are not 1. And check it out. Okay? Cool. Now, what do we do next? Take a look at the results from Wolfram Alpha and we'll finish up. Okay, great. Wolfram Alpha, good job. Was able to solve this equation. One solution and that's an integer. And the graph actually is really nice because notice that our original function before we multiply by 2 is kind of like a curvy, not parabola because it's not symmetrical, but it takes its minimum value at y equals 3. That's where the tangent line is. That means there is only one solution, which is x equals 1. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.